Number six, never seek revenge. Avoiding revenge brings more benefits than seeking it, according to Stoic beliefs. Revenge might feel good temporarily, but it ends up causing problems for everyone involved. Stoics think it's more important to care for others and find peace inside ourselves. Seeking revenge just creates more bad feelings and keeps us trapped in a cycle of hurt. It also uses up a lot of our mental and emotional energy that we could use for positive things. Stoics suggest not letting insults or wrongs bother us because they're out of our control. Instead, they say we should focus on making ourselves better and making the world better. They believe real strength comes from being good and doing the right thing in everything we do. Forgiving someone who hurt us is hard, but it's a powerful way to find peace inside and move forward. When we forgive, we let go of the anger and give ourselves a chance to heal. Forgiveness also helps us understand others better and makes it easier to build good relationships. Seeking revenge can hurt our relationships and how others see us, while forgiveness can make our connection stronger. To stop wanting revenge, we need to look at why we feel that way and if it's helpful. Thinking about our beliefs and why we do things can help. Also, practicing mindfulness and meditation can help us not react so strongly to our feelings. Following the stoic way of forgiving can break the cycle of revenge and make life better. By focusing on our own growth and being kind to others, we can be happier. Revenge might make us feel better for a bit, but it doesn't fix the real problems and just keeps the bad feelings going. Number seven, stop wasting your time. Stop wasting time dwelling on negativity. Time is limited, so it's crucial to use every moment wisely. The Stoics believe time was a gift, and it's our responsibility to use it well. Sadly, Many of us spend time on things that don't help us grow or feel better. Here's how to change that. First, figure out what's most important to you and focus on that. The Stoics said we should concentrate on what we can control. Likewise, focus on what matters to you most. Cut out activities that don't match your values or goals. Second, be proactive in solving problems. Don't wait for things to happen. Take steps toward your goals. The Stoics believe that doing the right thing is rewarding in itself. Finally, practice gratitude. Being thankful helps us see the good things in life and be happy with what we have. Remember, time is limited, so make the most of it by using these Stoic ideas. Start now by setting your priorities, being proactive, and appreciating what you have. Number eight, stop looking for problems. Stop constantly searching for issues. It's tempting, but instead, focus on what you can control and solve those problems. When we shift our mindset to solving problems, we become proactive instead of reactive. See problems as challenges to conquer, not negative experiences. Embrace them for personal growth. Concentrate on what you can manage and forget the rest. Don't waste energy on things beyond your control. Challenges are chances to improve. Embrace them as opportunities to grow and enhance yourself. Stay positive. It helps find solutions. With a problem-solving mindset aligned with Stoic values, let's seek solutions instead of dwelling on problems. Number nine, impulsivity. Acting without thinking, like making quick decisions on a whim, often ends up in bad choices and feeling sorry about them. The Stoics, though, suggest not giving in to these sudden urges. They advise taking your time and being careful when making choices. To beat impulsiveness, it's important to slow down and think about what might happen if we do something before we actually do it. This involves checking if what we want to do matches our values and long-term goals, it also means thinking about the risks and rewards and comparing them. The Stoics think emotions can mess up our decisions, so they say it's crucial to not let emotions control us. They say we should see and understand our feelings without letting them rule our choices. Another way to fight impulsiveness is to be disciplined. 
This means being able to resist doing something just because it feels good right away, especially if it's better for us in the long run. For instance, if someone wants to save money, they should avoid spending it quickly and save it for later instead. Besides these tips, it's also important to find inner peace. This comes from accepting things we can't change and focusing on what we can control. By living in harmony with nature and being present in the moment, we can get a sense of calm and clear thinking, which helps us make better decisions. Getting rid of impulsivity needs a commitment to thinking carefully before acting and being willing to control ourselves. By following the Stoics' advice, we can learn to say no to quick pleasures and pick a path that leads to more happiness and success. Number 10. Stop complaining. It's a common habit many struggle with. Complaints about weather, jobs, relationships, or other things not going our way rarely help. Instead, they add stress and negativity. Stoicism teaches focusing on what we control and accepting what we can't. Complaining often stems from frustration and anger at things beyond our control. Accepting this prevents drowning in negative feelings, allowing us to direct energy where it matters. Instead of complaining, take action to change what's unsatisfactory by seeking new opportunities, communicating, or improving circumstances. Sometimes bad things happen, and complaining won't alter that. Practicing gratitude for what we have and learning from tough situations helps. Changing the complaining mindset to one of positivity and action transforms lives, making us happier and more fulfilled. Stoicism advises eliminating negative habits, embracing simplicity, self-reliance, and mindfulness for a wise, tranquil, and virtuous life. Progress, not perfection, matters in adopting stoic principles for a better life. Start today for a more fulfilling life. Thanks for sticking around till the end of this video. We've covered some real life stuff today, haven't we? From handling our impulses to letting go of those bad habits, these stoic principles can really shape up our lives, right? Now, I know change isn't always a walk in the park, but hey, even small steps count. It's all about making those tiny tweaks, bit by bit to build a better version of ourselves. Remember, progress over perfection, always. If you found any of this helpful or thought-provoking, give that thumbs up button a little tap. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way, you won't miss out on any more practical tips and life hacks we've got lined up for you. See you next time.